Victory Park. This is News 8 Midday in High Definition. This is the story of the day, and the countdown is on. The digital transition happens in just minutes, and we want to make sure you're prepared. On the left, you see the phone banks we've set up for you. Now, write down this number. It's 972-988-8888. Any issues with your television after we flip off our analog signal, you need to call. Again, that number, 972-988-8888. On the right is our tower that transmits that analog signal. In just a few minutes, one of our engineers will flip the switch, and the analog signal will go away. It's a plan we've been working on for years. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Chris Flanning, and thank you for joining us at Victory. Park in HD. Well, the action is down in Cedar Hill. That's where our transmitter is located, and that's where we find Channel 8's Jim Douglas. Jim, this is the end of an era, and the transition into something totally new. It's a historic moment. You're exactly right, and that's why we have some history here with us. Retired WFAA engineers who have come down here just for this moment. If you're watching us from a uh, from an antenna or through rabbit ears, you've got to have your converter box plugged in now or else in just about three minutes, you're going to be going back to the age of FDR and the fireside chats. David Johnson, our head engineer, very quickly, walk us through what they need to be doing, David. Okay, you need to make sure your converter box is connected to either a pair of rabbit ears or preferably an outside antenna. And then you're gonna have a short cable from your converter box back to your TV set, okay? Most of you hopefully have already done that by now because time is out. But the most important thing is that when we turn off analog that you do a rescan. And that's as simple as pressing the remote on your uh, converter box, switching over, select auto tune, and rescan your converter box or HD TV set. That's very important. Need to reprogram. Reprogram it so you can pick up our new channel 8 digital signal. Again, you're watching analog on the left, digital on the right, and we do have a phone bank standing by to answer these questions for you. It's 972-988-8888. We got as many eights in there as we can get. So dial that number if you have problems after we make this switch about 55 seconds from now. I want to move over to Don Gimmer because this is something that's been going on here at Channel 8 for about 10 years. Don's one of our engineers who worked on this. You actually flipped it over to the digital switch in 1998. Yes, that's correct. I turned on the transmitter right here behind you when we signed on our digital signal back in February of 98. At that point, there was no programming. Now we've got that program. That's correct. We had to strive to get a lot of stuff on the air back then because there really wasn't anything to put on. Don, how big a step is this? Oh, this is like going from a manual transmission to an automatic, actually, and it's kind of exciting. I just can't wait to get it over with here. The biggest, the biggest change since color in black and white? Basically, yes, I would say that, too. Okay. We're about to sit, we have six seconds right now, so let me count you down. Four, three, two, one. Hit it, Don. There we go. All right, Don, thank you very much for switching that over. A historic moment. Let's go on back here now, and we'll get the switch actually over to digital. Don, tell us what's happening here. I'm rotating our coax switch so we can get the DTV antenna on the air. And now I'm going to go back and turn the Channel 8 digital on, and we should be on the air in digital. We're just going to go with you and follow you over there. That's it. We should see uh, lights all go green here in a minute. And we should be on the air in digital right now at full power. This is a historic moment. I said that before, but it really is history. And as we look around this room, we see that history. Yeah, and uh, I'm glad they could all be here for this today. What I'm sure they're excited about it. What a privilege to be a part of this. Tell me your name very quickly. Jay Thompson. And when did you start here, Jay? 66, 1966. Retired 10 years ago. And we've got somebody else back here. Tell me your name and when you started. Clarence Bruyere started June 1944. 1944, before we went on the air with Channel 8 TV. That's right. It was on the old Santa Fe building. What a moment here. Thank you so much for coming out here. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this history with us. Again, we have switched over now, so we're going to see how the rest of this day goes. But again, 972-988-8888 if you have any problems at all. Live at the Channel 8 transmitter, Jim Douglas, Channel 8 News in digital.
Okay, Jim, thanks for that live report. Great to see those guys down there today. Well, the temperature is reaching 96 degrees to last thing.